Hello everyone. Uh, today we'd like to talk about Fix API Splitter. Um, first of all, what is Fix API Splitter? Fix API Splitter is a program uh, for Forex brokers, uh, which lets the broker split a Fix API account between multiple clients. Um, now it's well known that a lot of bridge providers uh, tend to charge a lot of money for the setup of new Fix API accounts, whether it's in uh, commission fees or in setup fees. Uh, and that causes Forex brokers to ask clients to put up high initial deposits, um, at least $10,000 uh, and up, in order to open a new fixed API account. So to avoid this kind of problem um, and to let uh, traders open accounts with smaller amounts, with smaller initial deposits, we have developed a software program that allows a Forex broker to open one account with a liquidity provider uh, connects that account to Fix API Splitter, and then open accounts uh, for a number of clients depending on the size of the deposits of each individual client. So for example, uh, let's suppose you have a $10,000 account with a liquidity provider, and you have three clients, um, and each of, these, uh, each of these three clients has a deposit, um, uh, has $3,000. So what you can do, you can assign each of these clients a Fix API account, um, to the tune of $3,000 and uh, the clients will trade based on the size of that amount um, and on the, on the, uh, based on their margin requirements. So if the margin requirements are insufficient, uh, the account will be turned off and the clients will be blocked from trading. So how does the program work? Uh, fixed API splitter is made up of three parts. The first one is the bridge that is connected to uh, a fixed API account and it controls the process of order transmission between the fixed API um, end user uh, and the fixed API liquidity provider. Uh, the second one is the database, um, the, the database that contains the settings and parameters. Uh, so nothing too exciting here. And the third one is the manager. The manager can be set up on the forks dealers um, computer and its main task is to uh, set up and assign fixed API accounts. Um, uh, fixed API accounts are tied to the MT4 server in order to control margins and to act as a graphic user interface for traders. So you give the trader fixed API credentials um, and an MT4 terminal which can have a password enabled uh, to prevent the trader from uh, also using another terminal and this will um, and that will allow the trader to see uh, all of his open orders with the FIX API uh, provider. So what happens here? Um, if, you, uh, if you go to the Connect tab, you see the MT4 server to which we connect uh, via the manager's API, so we don't need to use any DLM servers. We only create um, a special uh, group on the server, which is located uh, in the BBOC, and within that group, we create accounts, which, um, as I've already said, we need only uh, in order to control the margins for each client with a fixed API account. So for example, if a client has deposited $100, then we create an MT4 account for $100 in that BBOOC group, and that account will be tied to the fixed API account, which will allow you uh, to control the account and make sure that the client does not exceed the stipulated requirements. Also, the MT4 terminal connected to that account will serve as the client's graphic user interface. At the very, uh, so at the um, uh, very bottom uh, here, you see the, uh, uh, the liquidity provider, LMAX, in this case. We connect it, to, uh, we connect it via uh, fixed admin. Um, in the middle between the two, you can see um, BJF uh, fix. That is the um, output, so to speak, meaning our fixed API that will be assigned to our users. So here's an example. We want to create an account. We navigate to the Accounts tab. Here we see those accounts that have already been created, which uh, all of them have their individual numbers and names in the system um, and their respective, uh, uh, their respective um, balances. So let's try to create a new account. So we click on New Account. Um, so what do we have here? We have a login field. We can enter a login, which has to be unique. Uh, we can also enter a password. Um, we also have two other fields, sender computer ID and target computer ID. So we then link this account to an MT4 account. So let's, uh, let's create a sample account. We will input um, a username. Let's call it user12. Uh, the password will be uh, 1111, something simple. The sender computer ID will be sender12. Uh, 
or rather sender 12. And the target will be uh, target 12. And that's it. We uh, hit save. Um, and they, this account has been created and linked to an MT4 account. So we now, we, uh, we now give the new user a graphic user interface, um, an MT4 terminal connected to that account, um, and then uh, the user's fixed AP, fix AP credentials. So to test how it works, we have a program for fixed API traders, which allows the trader to trade through fixed API. Um, if we navigate to the market data connection uh, parameters tab, we see the username, um, user1. Um, right here, uh, a connection to the address. Uh, these are fixed uh, API credentials for market data, sender one, target one, uh, the passwords, um, the ports, that's the port for market data. And then of course the uh, trading connection parameters uh, tab as well. Uh, the port for trading data is different here. Um, so username, passwords, we click OK. Uh, we now work as if we were the firm's clients who has received fixed API credentials. Um, and we click on connect. And that's it, that's it. We've connected to our internal Fix API and every order that is opened in here will be sent through Fix API Splitter to our liquidity provider. In our case, that's um, our LMAX. Uh, we can create as many users as we want and you won't need to pay the bridge provider every time you open an account because you will, you will only have one account. So you can see that um, if you look right here, you can see that we're now getting, uh, we're now getting quotes um, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to submit an order to test it. So let's say for the euro dollar currency pair, this is going to be a market order. We can also choose it. We can make it a limit order if we want, fill or kill, um, fix our lot size. So we click on uh, sell and we see that the order has been instantly uh, sent to the liquidity provider. We click on buy. Um, the order has been closed. Um, so there's no uh, loss of speeds whatsoever. It can be one to two milliseconds with fixed API splitter, but really uh, your, your trader is trading the same way um, uh, as you would directly with LMAX. While at the same time, uh, the trader can set up an account uh, with as little as $100. So the advantages of using fixed API splitter are obvious. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I thank you for your time.